Hey guys, uh, RC Tech Guy here. Just wanted to give you guys an overview of an a servo tester. And this is one of the handiest little gadgets, I guess if you will, that you can possibly purchase in your uh, quest to enjoy the RC hobby uh, more so. Uh, especially when you get a new plane or your scratch building, like I've got a scratch built arm and wing here, uh, courtesy of Experimental Airlines, uh, that I've flown quite a few flights, but um, especially if you're you're setting up a new wing or control surface, ailerons, rudder, elevator, all of those control surfaces, and you're, you're not really sure where center is on your servos. Well, that's really important because if you're setting up your transmitter, um, you don't really know where the throws are, you don't know... Uh, where the center of those control surfaces are because you know you don't really know where your servos are centered at so really in the past the only way you could get around this is just literally hook your receiver up bind it to your, your transmitter set everything to center see how you know where everything uh, shakes out well that's kind of cumbersome especially if you're building the plane you don't really have your receiver installed so that's where the servo tester uh, comes into play. Uh, the servo tester, you can, uh, they sell these at Hobby King. I think I picked this is up, this one up at Grayson Hobby. I think Hobby King has them super cheap, under 10 bucks. Um, and you can literally hook a two cell LiPo, and I've kind of got overkill here. I've got a 2200 milliamp two cell uh, Gen's Ace battery, but you can literally hook this up via your balance port and I don't know if, how well I can do this holding the camera, uh, but I can at, at least show you guys. So I'm gonna put the camera down just for a second. Hook this in, make sure you have it, uh, have the pins correct. And, okay, so as you can see, we've, we've got lights, we've got activity. So again, just have that hooked to the balance board here. And the really neat thing about this uh, servo tester is it has three different modes. Uh, right now it's in what we call manual mode. Uh, so as you see as I turn the uh, uh, the uh, wheel here on the servo tester, my uh, servos respond. Now that's one thing. If you want to manually just see you know, where your throws are, if you want to check everything out. But I tell you, probably the handiest uh, feature of this, push the button, it has what's called a uh, neutral feature. I'll get it set here and it's in the in the middle where the middle blue LED light is on. That means your servos are centered. So if you notice, let me just show you guys uh, here, push the button I'm going to set it manually way off, so see how that's obviously not center. Now watch what happens. See how it centered everything? Now that's so handy uh, when you're, especially when you're building a new plane and you don't know where center is, and you're obviously in setting it up. You've probably moved your so your servo uh, control arms, and so everything is not going to be centered. So that's what a servo tester does how you use it and as you can see how you hook it up you can use the once again a two cell lipo provides the correct voltage hook it up to the balance port and you're going to save yourself so much headache uh, by investing in one of these things they're tremendously helpful so that's my little uh, tech tip for today uh, this is RC Tech Guy until next time guys